Okay, so I ordered a uh, USB hub, and here it is. Um, it's a micro USB hub, um, and this is going to enable me to add the keyboard that I couldn't, I couldn't do on the last video. I got as far as getting it all working, but I couldn't actually do anything because I couldn't use a keyboard. And well, uh, right, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But hey ho, um, I guess. Um, I guess it doesn't need to be big, but yeah. Let's have a look inside, and it's uh, very small. <laughs> but anyway, it's yeah, it's going to do what I need to do. So it's got the it plugs into the Pi Pico. Power goes in the end, and I will plug a keyboard into the USB. So yeah, where we go, brilliant. Let's have a look at attaching it to the to the Pi. So yeah, plugged in there, and that's going to um, pass the power through. I'll plug the power into the the end of the little mini hub there, and um, we'll power the unit. So yeah, brilliant. Right before before I um, do anything further, so let's have a look at what what this has cost so far. So. Pico, the Pi Pico cost me six pounds. The DVI breakout one pound ninety. Three pound for the SD breakout. That hub was seven ninety nine. I think I could have got that cheaper, but I got that off Amazon. Um, but uh, the breadboard I already had. I've, I've thrown a price in here. I, I think for that size of breadboard, ten pounds. Some wires, uh, probably maybe even cheaper. But it's the kind of thing that if you if you're into this sort of thing, you might have it lying around anyway. So. It's not really a cost. So in total, £28.89. So not a great deal. And I think you could shave some of that off. But yeah, you know, part of it's just, you know, it's it's fun. And it's just, it's interesting to see, how, you know, what you can build for a very small amount of money. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's pretty reasonable cost, really, when you think about it. So let's see if we can get this working. So there we are. It's all plugged in. Power goes into the hub, keyboards into the hub. The I've got the HDMI plugged in, I've got the TV on, ready, HDMI. I'm gonna flick the switch, power it on, and we should see the um one to eight um spectrum screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's try and use the keyboard. Let's see what happens. And yeah, hey, there we go. Yeah, we're all working fine, so that's great. Um, doing what it's supposed to do, working as a keyboard. That's fantastic. When I powered that on just then uh, for the first time, it created this folder structure on the SD card. So there's um, somewhere to put the snapshots, uh, as we can see here. And also there is going to be somewhere to put um, the tape images as well. So here I am just copying over some snapshots of a couple of games. And I'm also going to do the same for the uh, the tapes, so the they will get added in here. So yeah, so they're added. So now let's have a look and see if we can test this. Right, so power it on, and um, F1 on the keyboard will bring up the the menu. So yeah, we can go in snapshot here. Now nothing's showing, um, so I have to hit five to refresh that. And that's yeah, there we go. That's bringing the games in. So let's try loading one of these. Straight away, there we go, all working. Obviously, there's no sound yet, but we'll come to that. So that one works fine. Let's try a little bit of gameplay. I uh, can't remember the keys, but as long as it does something, I know it works. So yeah, okay. So let's try Invaders, the classic Arctic game. Bye. There's William Ray. Yeah, here we go. Okay, look at that. It's, this is a great version of the game. <laughs> um, so, yeah, all working fine. Missing the sound, of course. But, yeah, that is great. Let's have a go at getting the tape player to work. So, select in here, add the tape. So, let's add it in. Right, here we go. Let's get the tape loaded in. And tape loader and 
there we go yay so that's gonna that's gonna load I'll um I'll leave that to load it's quite a long a long time for it to load in the game so let's let that do its thing Right, we should be there now, and is that, yeah, there we are. Right, fantastic. So yeah, that works as well. Looking good. Um, okay. Yeah. So the next thing is sound. Let's have a look at sound. So I've got the uh, instructions from the the Pico site on um, GitHub. I've put the components together. I think I've got it right. I've wired it all up and I have put that into uh, uh, an, uh, a phono output so that I can then plug that into my to my amplifier. Um, fingers crossed this is all going to work and not blow up. But yeah, here it is all, all ready to go. So it's all hooked up now. Let's see whether we have any sound. So loading in invaders. Um, nothing, no sound yet. I don't know if it's working and let's try starting it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sounds working, fantastic. Let's try a bit of game. Yeah, wonderful. I didn't think it was gonna work. Um, this is coming off um, the first audio pin output. There was the second one was labelled up a buzzer. But this is coming off the first pin of audio, um, so that's that's working fine. Great. Let's try ant attack. Yeah. Perfect. Again, a little bit of gameplay, but yeah, hey. it's quite quiet game. This, I think. Yeah, there we go. All done, fantastic. Next thing, let's see whether the tape audio comes through as well. That'd be interesting to see when it's when it's loading. Get the classic loading sound. I'll be well happy. Okay, let's give that a go. Right, let's get this loading then. Give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Sounds brilliant. So there we are. <laughs> All working. Um I um I don't I don't know what I'm to do next really. I might try and um see whether I get a small screen or something like that. That'll be interesting to do. But yeah, here it is in all its in all its glory. Um works so well, I'm very happy. Uh, it's simple to do. Why don't you give it a try? Um, if you get all the parts, all of all bit of fun, isn't it? And all of this can be reused to do other things. So yeah, brilliant. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Thank you.